Beginning with the Dream Team, me and Joy McCready stay. are ready to go. Now, we do need to pick up a little skill book, Live nice. and Love. Currently, um, our companion now gets five extra damage resistance and energy resistance. Pretty awesome. Down. Just picking that up in the third rail. Hard to beat. Right, let's go to these warehouses and clear them out. Let's keep oh. the breeze back. Shoot the fat. Now, I know you all are doing your own thing. But I don't want anyone here to forget what matters. Hey, Daisy, glad you could make it. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see you on a date with Morowski the other day? Ah, he wishes. <laughs> oh, he's up all there. All right, all right, we're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right, what matters. We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock. Now, what out there in our big, friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? The Institute and their sins. That's right. Who said that? Coming up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. <laughs> the Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants, not even those tools over in Diamond City. Uh, I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. Hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that lardhead. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not, not us! us. <laughs> and which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Good neighbor! neighbor. And who's in charge of good neighbor? Oh, the people! For the people. For the people! Remain silent during the speech. This is one of the few places in the Commonwealth that accepts ghouls. Not like those bigots in Diamond City. That was good wee speech. Um, I didn't expect it, but um, pretty good. Anyways, we've got to go into the warehouses. Why is it a novice lock? Do I not have that quest ready to go? Yeah. So... I've got to sneak into them? Oh, no witnesses. Oh. Right. I know this is really the moment you were all waiting for. Is like, when would he put the intelligence bobblehead in its rightful place? There we go. We're up to three. Now, after we do this in a good neighbor and we clear out all the warehouses, my next target is the Saugus Ironworks up here. Because I want my explosives to do 15% extra damage. Which means we've got to go clear it out. But... That's half the fun. The fun thing with McCready is, like Piper, he loves it when I lockpick. But I'll also be keeping him around when I am building the settlement so we can get his affinity up. He's also got a pretty neat quest we've got to do. So with all that in mind, he should be pretty simple. Again, before St. Patrick's Day, we will get cat. So that's, uh, that's going to be an interesting one. It's going to be very themed that day because, you know. That'll be fun. McCready liked that. Yeah, that's a great start. Okay, as for carrying out this little operation, I may go close quarters. Oh yeah! Best ah, Trigger Man. Even better. Damn, never mind. Turns out that the Trigger Man are a little tougher to take down than I thought. Not super. Oh. Where did, where did that one from behind come from? Or is there like an entrance to the left there? Still got some fight left in no. you. Okay. There's lots of items for us to pick up though. Hope everyone's having a great yeah, evening or that. morning or wherever you are watching this. Could be 10 years down the line for all I know at this point. Whoa. I think that's the beauty about content creating. You never quite, no, I'm out of ammo. No more 45. Okay. That's 
how we do things around here. Well, at least they've all got loads of tamil for me. McCready liked that. Well, here is a good way to get his affinity going. One here. <gasps> Desk fan. First one of the episode. Woohoo! I'm assuming they're the owners, unless I walk out here and the whole of the place will just start attacking me. Nice. Well, that's one more house cleared. None of them dropped any of the suits I'm particularly after, but like it is what it is. I'm sure one of them will have a clean suit at some point. Mm -hmm. Never been in these warehouses before. Didn't even know there was part of a quest, so. Goes to show, if you play this game at a much slower pace, like I'm doing, you know, one of the added benefits is you just see so much you're able to see you know find items that you would have never normally because you know i will admit the more i look back I, even when i used to play without you know content creation uh, or, or for content it was always very like fast paced even skyrim you know i would have just been aiming to complete it oh plenty of mannequins up here creepy vibes creepy vibes mccready anyway no one's seen Hopefully, or heard of that little deed of ours. So that's one down. A few more to go. See what I'm getting the affinity up just by stealing everything here. So I'm gonna just keep stealing all of it. It's all mine. All right, we'll head up. We save for busting on this next one. Hopefully, nope. Heading. Nice. Nice. See the way it was pushing me away there? I thought I was going to get detected. I was like, that's, that's not great. Anyway, doesn't matter now. On over here. What? How did they... Oh, I was going to say, how did anyone see that? Because I was pretty sneaky about it. What a waste of time. Do you know what? What I'll do is, I'll actually just kill them all to begin with. And then Come on out. I'll do the litten. Second you hide. I just get mad. Which one of you lost? Find him! Okay, that looked like it hurt. Says there's more. Oh, another staircase? Ah. So we'll loot our way backwards. Might just be Slightly easier for us. Awesome. Tell you what, might have to do our. Oh, ah, no. Can't sit down in the job like this. <laughs> to be fair, haven't had too many incidents where I just randomly sit down. Take all that. Anything useful? Yeah. Nothing too amazing. McCready. Oh. Any of these for reading? Nope. Nope. We'd love to know his affinity change. See, the only way you're going to check. Hey. Is this really the something? time? Uh, <laughs> to just be sitting down on the job. Anyway. Give him all the junk here. And that's all he can carry. Come on, McCready. Let's, uh, let's ship off from here. We have uh, we've got all we needed on this floor. 
I should have enough to more or less get everything from the rest of these guys. And honestly, see the more... Oh, I was talking about Affinity. Yeah, you can't check it without console commands. Which I, I get. Look, I know it's a bit... Like, I suppose it's a bit cheaty, but what about if someone genuinely just wants to know, like, oh, what's what's the affinity level, or... Nope, you, you can't check it without mods or console commands, which... Just a strange... Strange choice. Oh, a black suit. That was a dirty one, but... We're getting there. We will find one. Eventually. But if he likes stealing, tell you what, couldn't have got a better quest to do it. Ooh, dirty black zip. I'm assuming most of the trigger men don't wear. Did you start collecting antiques? <laughs> yeah. Assuming we'll never find a clean one, or ha like, have we seen any of them wearing a clean one? Because I know there's lots of trigger men when you go to save Nick. That'll be fun. My favourite part about this whole game, so far, has been the idea that Hancock was like some really like chill, peaceful, loving dude. And I don't know where I got that from. Honestly, that is that is where I thought Hancock was on the list. Because never really had him as a companion, and to be fair, didn't really go to Good Neighbour all that much. So, this is probably the most you've seen are the most I've personally seen of uh, Good Neighbor at all. all right. Perfect. That's again another wee save. I don't know if it would affect people if we get discovered out here, but may as well be safe. Heading once again for the third one. Just beside Hotel Rexford. But doing this got it. has really got me in the mood for Fallout New Vegas, number th Fallout 3, and Fallout London, and okay. Skyrim. There's just so much I want to do. It's like all Ooh. That's a good start. Again, upstairs, cleared floor by floor, look from the top. Kill from me. Is that us? Nice. Wonder where the steamer trunk is in here. No steamer trunk. Ooh. I mean, it's an interesting room in that, but. Oh. Guess stuff of bags the best I'm getting out of here. Oh, desk fan. Ah, made up for it all. I'm rather surprised. Well, won't be leaving without you. Right, so rated everyone in here. Mine, down to the next floor. Yeah, lots of dirty sits. Not a lot of clean ones. Guess that's not a big thing in the Commonwealth. Wonder what I'll get for this. Just a load of XP or probably unlocks, I imagine, something interesting for us. So let's see. Running from something? Welcome home. Right, let's go see Charlie. To Charlie. I deal with the drugs. Yeah, I wouldn't want to cross your path, huh? Place to stay. Try hey, to Charlie. Be I've heard some exterminator cleaned out the rats in the old warehouses. <laughs> know anything about that, would you? Like an earthquake. 
I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that's right. And I don't know why I'm ending you all these <laughs> Funny world, ain't it? Class. Charlie. My client appreciates the work you did with his rap problem. Now, if you're buying, let's hear what you want. hard, White Chapel. What's the word around town? Well, they say there's a newcomer around here who doesn't know. Now, are you gonna... That's dead on, right? So we've done that for him. As I said, we are gonna head over to Saugus now. It's a little quiet out here. A little too quiet. Alright, McCready. He'll catch up with us. Right. So, County Cross, and I, I don't think I've been sent any quest in that direction. Oh, me Marlark. dealt with. Hello, birds. They're spies for the Institute. Wonder if anything respawned in here. No. No. Pretty sure we're not He's respawned. Well, at least we get some of the equipment. Oh, he's here. He's good dodging. Oh, I mightn't waste my time with him. Just yep. uh, load it up. Need to get this. Oh no! I was close. We'll go over to Finch Farm. I'll say hi to them. I know there is some quest line to them. But, again, I actually need to work a wee bit more on the settlements. Um, I've got enough resources that I can basically build almost anything that I want. Hey, you! Oh, sorry. Thought you might be one of those forged maniacs, but you don't have the burns. A group of them took over the old ironworks, and they'll shoot you just as soon as look at you. Who are the Forged? Bunch of trumped-up raiders, obsessed with fire and metal. That bastard son of mine, Jake, snuck out in the middle of the night to join him. He grabbed my granddad's old sword. It's the closest thing I've got to an heirloom. I don't guess you'd be crazy enough to try and get it back for me. I've got caps, if that's what you want. What about your son, Jake? You don't care what happens to him? My brother's name? raised my boys to be raiders. As far as I'm concerned... He's dead to me. Ooh, that's rough. I'll find it. You're doing me a big favor, and I'll make it up. Right, retrieve the sword, bring Jake back. Optional. Don't know if it's a speech check or what, but I guess I have to kill them all. Uh, the Hub City Auto Wreckers is just beyond that point. No Brahmin Island as well. Forged are. Well, I haven't fought them. Ooh. Okay. You just gonna keep running? That that's a thing. Well, in doing so, I discovered the place. That's pretty cool. Can I like dismantle you or anything? No. Nope. That's fine. Oh, enemies. Whoa, wild sneeze. Right. Don't know how easy these things are going to be. Ah, there's some above us. Ah, crap. Right, okay. Close quarters it is. Where are you? Ooh, lasers. Ooh, Molotovs. No! He took no damage! Ow! Ow! <laughs> okay, now that you took a swing. Whoa! You are... You are obsessed! Get... No! But... Uh, right, okay. And I have a crazy amount of ammo on this? 
Oh, because they all had submachine guns and that found them. Well, in it, all the factories. Don't know what McCready did, but fair play to you. Normally there's a caravan passing by. Whoa, what? Who's the, who? Whoa, ah! What are you all doing? <laughs> New battle plan for this. <laughs> wow. Right. I'm gonna need a bit of assistance for this. Um Who is nearby? Oh, Brickheart Banks is too far away to lure anyone. There's the slog, but again, not that useful. Okay, we're gonna go this way instead. Clearly attracting all the attention at once was a bad idea. I can't really use Hub City Auto Reactors for it. Is there a safer way up to the catwalk? In the back door or something? Nah. Okay. Right. I don't know who fired that. Taking down one, right? This is, this is good. This is better. This is progress. Okay, that, that didn't do as much. They're very fond of Molotov cocktails. Another one. Yeah, I don't mind expanding these. We You can see him trying to back off. I'm like, ah, I don't want this. Nice. Oh, it was a plasma one through too. Pick that up. McCready, you are dynamite like. <laughs> Brilliant. Makes sense. Oh, I'll take everything from you. Well, very lucrative to me. Ooh. Damn. You have stacks of supplies here for me. Well, at least I'm not going in with an empty stomach. Should help taking them down. Be a little easier. Okay. So, there's two on the roof. Which I don't think I can access. I think I've got to clear the place. In order to get to the roof. Ooh. Yeah. Looks about right. Okay, McCready, we are we are going in, going in hot. <laughs> Get it? Down. That's a flamer fuel, and I've got a flamer as well. So, good start. What's this gonna do? Yeah, let's deactivate them. Bravo six, going dark. Ah, this is where things. Get interesting. The amount of times I've been in here for oh. bobbleheads, skill books. Is there a skill book here? Oh, well, bobbleheads no. anyway. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is not where you want to be right now. Plenty of water. Hide in the bathroom. Let's see. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh, that worked. Oh, hello. Again, quite easy. All the water. Okay. Well, now I can swap over to something a bit more long range. If they decide to come up them stairs, which of course they're going to. Nice, straight to the face. So at least gotta stay on the side. Okay. I'm just gonna go for remove all duds because there's some amount of them. Okay, so. Uh, sirens? Anything like sirens? Mm. Okay, another case of we will uh, clear this place out. Oh, and hit the Molotov cocktail in mid -air. Things you love to see. I assume McCready will join us at some point here. All right, McCready. We're splitting all that, right? Oh, so I can get some help. Won't mind it. Fire, right? Can't be fire. Can't be dark. That's it. Can't be rats. Powering up. Protectron on duty. It must be above us. I'm still amazed McCready picked that up. Like, is he just going to permanently use it? Nice. Well, we're playing. And the prize with a bobblehead that'll give us 15% permanent bonus damage. Which is exactly what I need. Never could wrap my head around all this science stuff. End of the line! I'm feeling eyes on my back. Good shot, McCready. Just starting to have fun. What the heck happened in here? Place is trashed. I think the Raiders just well forged. Weren't all that good. At least they could cook things pretty handy. Give it adhesive. I'll take all the cans, get the glass. It all adds up at the end of the day. What's this for? Those who failed the forge, arsenic. Cried out while treating wound. Sentence, limb amputated, exiled. Cheated during first trial, offender and family fed to the forge. Damage. Ran from battle, fed to the forge. Duke. Died without permission during second trial, fed to the forge. <laughs> Caught stealing rations, fed molten iron. Gave meds to enemy, flayed until death. Allowed enemies to escape battle, branded, exiled. Caught sleeping during watch, fed, or eyes fed to Marlurks, exiled. Cried out during final trial, fed to the forge. 
Viper refused to execute civilian, family executed, exiled, and Yancey refused to change name, fed to the forge. <laughs> I mean, it's funny. I like that, lads. It's quite funny. The one thing about the forge is never ever jump in, because you just die instantly. It does. There's no, no moment to think about it. You just die. I'm sure many of you have thought about jumping into it. So I just thought I would tell you then and there. Oh. <laughs> Let's test out a flamer. On a turret. That's how we do things around here. Yeah, not bad. Me and McCready running around with these. What can we say? Right. Now, I would like very much to see if I can do pull this off. So, I'm going to save it. The reason I am is I think you can save one of the people in here. But it has to be like split second firing on slag here. If he tries to leave, kill him. You must be pretty strong. Sure. I'm confused. Did I miss something? It was easy. Most of them were never going to be worth forging in the first place. See, Jake? Here's someone who might actually be worth my time. Unlike you. But, You're gonna kill me. But I brought everything you asked for. Stealing things from your family farm doesn't prove your strength, boy. Though this wonderful sword you brought does put me in the mood to give you one last chance to prove your worth. What do you say? Kill that prisoner and prove that you aren't complete. You said we'd be raiding outside the Commonwealth. These people aren't even a threat to us. Prove to me that you can kill! It's oh god, what do I do? What do I do? Hmm. Hmm. Please let me go. Walk up. You don't have to do this. But if I don't. So I've actually given an extra point in charisma because there is later perks that I would like to unlock. And I also drank some beer. So let's try this one more time. If he tries to leave, kill him. You must be pretty strong. Yeah. A bunch of raiders flinging fire? Not even a challenge. Most of them were never gonna be. See, Jake? Here's someone ah, that's who might the... act gonna kill me. But I'm stealing things from Though this wonderful Right, kill so I'll skip you all this. We'd be raiding outside the Commonwealth. Prove to me that you can. Oh, God, what do I do? Alright, let's try this again. Walk away, Jake. You don't have to do this. Please. Yeah! Go! You're right. I don't wanna do this. I don't wanna join the. I just want to go home. Last chance. Right, so hopefully Jake can survive here. So we've only got slag to deal with, and I can pretty much. Ooh, that's a great grenade opportunity. Okay, um, we'll throw just a few grenades as well. Hey, personal. Just you or me. Get him, McCready. Right, so, you're tough. He's a tough nut to crack. I wonder what would take him down. Silent Knight. Out of water. Do you know what? Nah, it's over to the missile launcher. Well, it didn't didn't do as well. Oh crap, Jake! Why are you doing this? Why did he run in like that? Right. Sheesh kebab. Love it. Not good, Terry. El sheesh kebab. The roof key. 
And uh, here he's got a ton of Raider power armor. That I would like to bring with me. So I'm gonna give. Hey. Well. Love how. He... Yeah, he did pick up that. <laughs> Class. Right. Oh. I have me a wee bit of slags terminal. Hey there. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I, I messed up. I panicked. Always happy to help. I don't know what I was thinking trying to join them. Look, I, I should probably try to go home and make amends. I know I've got no right to ask, but I bet if you're there to explain, I bet if you bring my great granddad's sword, he he'll make it worth your while. He always tries to I agree. wait for you by the overpass near the farm. Okay, so we'll meet him at the farm. What we came for, nice. people? This bad boy. Another bobblehead for the taking. Let's get what we can off these people. Did I not remember there was a settler? Yeah. Look at this poor guy. You. Thank you. You. I, I, I don't get that bit. Like, why, why the for exaggerated you? Hmm. All the people that they kind of fed to the forge kind of didn't. Hmm. Pretty gruesome, isn't it? <laughs> Not how you'd want to go. Alright, so now that we've checked through all this. I always forget that. Perfect. So glad I noticed you're able to build new statues, nice picket fences. Anything over there worth. A singular stem pack and uh, watching McCready fall down. <laughs> I think that is a, a net win. Okay, Slag's terminal should be pretty easy to crack. Could imagine this guy having too strong a password. Hit. Uh, could be walk. Walk has two, right? Must be fall then. No. I'm not actually seeing any V tries. See, hopefully, give me a retry. Nope, duds removed. Lots of duds. Not what I'm looking. Oh, no! I just need one to reset my duds. No. Okay, right, let's be smart about this. It can only be one of these. So fall and walk had to. So it could be back. It could be fine. Couldn't be, so it's it's definitely not fine. Because fall would have had to. Can't be. F it's back. It is back. I'm in. Weak recruits so far. They break instead of owning to an edge. May have to abandon operations in the Commonwealth altogether unless we uncover a better source. Met some of our neighbours, call themselves gunners. Stronger, sharper, convinced a few to attempt the trials, passed, neither forged. Their leaders weren't pleased, there was some blood, but when they saw our resolve, they chose to negotiate. Wise. Now the word has gotten around the gang that beat the gunners. Lots of new recruits. Seems we'll be staying in the Commonwealth, after all. Scrap shipments from Dunwich Boars have halted, sent Bedlam to light the fire under the worms. Another flawed candidate attempts to bribe his way in, but the blade he gave me is impressive. I'll give him the trials, even if he fails, I'll still have something to show for it. Jared and his crew are dead, no surprise. Doubt he was even sobered enough to enjoy the fight. <laughs> I was, uh, that was a pretty wild terminal entry from El Slag up here. Anyway, now that we've pretty much finished up here. Uh, is there anything around here worth grabbing? Just another forged. Pipe pistol, don't even remember him dying. Or being part of the whole thing. Ah, oh, no, can't carry. Right. Need to drop something that's not worth much. I'm sure there's just. Oh, something worth. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty crap. Don't need the Raider chest piece. Oop. Let's go out. Good to see you still out and about patrolling. Not that he was of any use. 
I'm really on the roof because there was those two annoying ones that I need to kill. And I want... Does it say I've cleared this place? Oh. That's a bit anti... Oh. Another one? Where's the other one? Oh, he's up above. No. I only really want your ammo. Like, you're not of much use to me other than that. I'm assuming there's not much else up here. Oh, gee. Hmm. <laughs> good work, McCready. First time I brought him along. It worked out pretty well. clean desk, isn't it? I suppose up here probably was untouched. Who would really want to set up in a forge? Except, of course, you know, the forged. I'm sure them guys were pretty up for it. Has to be something up here worth. No? Nothing? Really? Huh. Yeah, I'll take what I can get. Not dropping myself down into the pit of flames. Can't take much more. Ah, McCready almost kills himself. <laughs> Plenty of flamer fuel for us. Oh, there we go, we're down. Where is Finn? Fin, fin, fin. This should hopefully get us Finch Farm as a new and improved settlement. We'll obviously set up supply lines to it. And I will uh, work away at it. There he is. Ooh, we can even go across and get ourselves another cool item. I'm so nervous. I, I feel like I'm going to throw up. Here goes nothing. Let's see how this interaction goes. What the? Boy, I told you this. Abraham, you what's going your on? Face here again, I... Is that my boy come home? What? Jake's back? Oh, thank God. Papa, please. I, I know I screwed up pretty big. I, I thought if I joined up, I could keep them from raiding our farm. I didn't. I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't care what you thought. I told you. Abraham Francis Finch, that's <laughs> enough. Mama, if... Shut up, Jake. If I hear anything out of either of you, you'll both be peeling potatoes for the next year. I've watched you two go at it for years and tried to let you sort it out for yourselves. Abraham, your son is a grown man. And if you expect him to act like one, then you'd better stop treating him like a child. Jake, your father and I have been out there, and we know it can be dangerous. We just want to make sure you're prepared. There, it's over. And if I hear another word about it from either of you, so help me. She's right. Oh. Don't know why that kind of cut off. Mr. Finch. She's right. I've been a fool. There's no way I can thank you enough. Here's something for your help. I think you should hang on to that sword. It'd put a smile on Granddad's face to know it was being used to help people. Yeah, another level up. Actually up to level 28, which means if I go to... Uh, uh, 35 court near good neighbor. I should spawn X01 power armor at this stage, but I'll wait the level 35 because I would rather try and get, you know, up to the what do you call it? The Mark 3. That's what I want. Well, now I deal 20% more damage with this bad boy, which I really needed. 
Okay, so this place is now a settlement. Yeah, I'll, I'll do whatever that. it takes to earn back my family's trust. I just want to trade a few things. Okay. GX Hollow Tape. Okay, let's have a wee listen. Oh, the compressed data. So it still gave me it. Right. Uh, where is G J J J? Let's have a listen. Someone's fighting someone here. And I don't know who. Though I haven't seen a brawl in a while. Well played, McCready. Do you know what? We'll discover Limpier Parking and we'll come back. Normally this is where I would find the Raider tank. But, or the Raider, the Gunner tank. Imagine the Gunners with the, or imagine the Raiders with the tank. That'd be funny. Alright, I need to store everything then we'll come back. Well, we landed back in some great weather. How Limpier Parking is... It got named the marked location is another one of those great mysteries. Because there ain't that much going on here. Apparently, some rad roaches, though. Although I can't really afford this damn on you, so I'm just going to pitch. Sure to take whatever we can in here. I think that's it. Can we get out this way? Yeah. Oh, big it's always worth taking anything that we can from the odd eye bomb. It's not like it's pissing anyone off. All right, Teddy. No one cares. Okay, it's Limpier Parking. This is the place that really should have got mentioned. Okay, I know it would be a bit embarrassing when we shot this spot. This place should have got a mention. It's the Revere... Uh, I don't know, the Vitali pump house. And it's far more interesting than Limpier Parking, so. Highly recommend you check this place out. Out! Didn't even chance. Cause it is awesome! Get your unique weapon and everything. We'll just set everything on fire first. Yeah, that's a good start. So the code here is 10451. Up everything. It's hiding about here. Uh, wish there was more puzzles like this. Ten, 
four, five, one, boom. Inside you get yes. this. Sets target and fire for 15 points of damage, 44 mag. Also a fusion core, and again, an industrial trunk. Like, what's not the love about this place? Simple, easy, in and out. Don't know where McCready's gone to, but that ah, doesn't matter. I think what I will do now... We could assault the hub auto rackers. Or... Talk to settlers at some remote place. Any, anything close nearby that we could have we We go up. Nah. Nothing too close. Gotta forge <laughs> our own adventure then. So... We'll travel over to Saugus, and then we'll go straight north to the Slog then. There doesn't seem to be anyone about. That's good. For us. Very good for us. By the way, if you have a jetpack, you can go up to that trailer there in the distance. Steamer trunk in the back. I do need to get a jetpack at some point. There's Arlen. And over here. That's a wee chap too. Um... Hello? Huh? Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got caught up in my work again. So, what do you think? Nice, isn't she? What is that? Some kind of toy? It's not just any toy. It's a genuine giddy-up buttercup. The 2076 Special Edition. Best toy on the market before the war. It's a shame, though. I don't have all the parts to get this old girl working again. Don't suppose you happen to have a spare crate of toy parts on you? Sorry, no. Of course not. But... Hmm. I think I know where you could find some. Not the most glamorous job, but I'm willing to pay. You interested? Aki would have made a cool companion too. All right, I'll do it. Thanks. This really means a lot to me. There's only one place to look for parts like this. The old Otama Toys factory, south of Quincy. Not gonna lie, it's at the far end of the Commonwealth. That whole area's a death trap. Gunners and worse. Even for you, <laughs> it might be too much. But if you're ever down that way, don't forget about me. Now, where was I? Okay, well we know that. Hasn't changed on having to look over your Locate new source of toy parts. Reconstruct right four leg servo. Talk with wise man about pool filter replacements. Patch up southern fence. Check plumbing and shower room. Plan trip to crater. Too risky this year. Plan trip to crater. Trip to the crater. Your shoulder. Does that mean he's? This? Does that mean he's like a member of the nice, Children of Adam? Excuse me. Welcome to the slog. We're the only tarberry bog in the Commonwealth. So what do you think of the place? It's pretty clever making a tarberry bog out of an old swimming pool. Well, it's certainly something, all right. <laughs> I appreciate your saying so. When I came across this place, it was the first time I'd seen anything like it. It seemed like a shame not to use it for something. You probably noticed it's only ghouls around here. I used to live in Diamond City, until that rat bastard mayor threw me and all the other ghouls out. I decided that we ghouls should have a place where we could feel welcome, and that's mainly why I started up this farm. Why did the mayor throw you out? We're ugly. We turn feral and kill people. We give the kids nightmares. All the usual stuff we get from you smooth skins. Now, it's true that there was one incident in Diamond City where a ghoul turned feral and someone got hurt. But I ask you this. How many humans have suddenly turned violent and killed someone? 
I've seen it more times than I care to admit. What if this place could be more than just a refuge for ghouls who aren't welcome elsewhere? What if it could also be an example of what we can do when we put our minds to something and work together? We want this to be a place that everyone looks forward to visiting, with smiling faces, good bargains, and great produce. Maybe we can make people take a second look, you know? Maybe then they'd see that we're not monsters. Anything I can do to help? As a matter of fact, there is. We can't sell tarberries without traders, and trade caravans need safe roads. There's a gang of super mutants that's been preying on anyone who comes near their oh, break heart banks. including traders. It'd be a great help to I'm us. I'm gonna assume to break heart banks boots once and for all. Uh, do you know where they're coming from? We have a pretty good idea. I hope you can find them and wipe them out. Yep, break heart banks. Should have seen that one coming. Anyway, I want to unlock the slog. Oh, there's also a wee unmarked diner. Let's check it. Ed? Just straight into the bog. We had a debate whether this was for sun lounging, and then some people suggested golfing. Um, I think it ended up it was a sun lounger sort of place. Could also have still been for golf, I suppose. Whichever way you want to look at it, use your imagination. There's no correct answer. It's a post-apocalyptic world. It. it was already a bit strange. Um, to be before the bombs fell, this place was a bit weird, so... You know. Well, this is it. I can't believe I'm gonna die in a fucking snack bar. I know I should have propped the door open. Two steps in, I heard the click behind me. All because Brian said there might be a snow cone machine in here. Goodbye, cruel world. Now, the thing is, he could have he walked out. I mean, like, there's not really much stopping him from getting out. Windows are all smashed. Like, you, you could... How could someone just die in here? Ah, oh, you wonder. You do wonder. Anyway. Let's check a sweet bus. Oh, got the sun rising. We view up here. Nope, nothing on board. Right. Well, we know our final trial of the day is to clear Breakheart Banks. It's not that far away. We've also got a good bit of ammunition. I say we should be able to do it. And I know just where it is. We're use ah oh, gonna have to fight the more time. Oh. There's normally trouble around here. <gasps> yes. Brilliant. Good start. Now I have a crazy we need to go. Although thankfully, an assault tron. Versus some super mutants. I'll take that bat. Right, I'll just eliminate him. Straight off the bat. Soltron's still chasing. Good, good, good. Because I think he should fend quite fairly against these guys. Or at least distract some of them for a bit. I know there's probably a legendary. Oh, he's got explosives too. Is that right? Ooh. Oh, oh crap. Oh, oh crap. What is, is that McCready? Where's the Assault Tron? Oh my god, they killed the Assault Tron! A legend, oh it's the Hound that's the legendary. Oh, this is new. That extra damage really kicking in now. I'm gonna say it for about the tenth episode. I need a bigger magazine on this. McCready, back to work. Get that flamer out, mate. <laughs> Go, McCready. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who are you? A butcher is up here. No.
Ooh. What's the bitch here, Dan? You still alive? Oh, you took me more damage there. Oh, I did more damage to McCready than anyone else there. Ooh! It's not what I needed to hear. Right, come on. Come on at me. Okay, I've got a skirmisher. I've got a pitcher left. I mean, I imagine if I could have dragged Mr. Gutsy, this would have been a much easier engagement. Pretty. You're, you're burning through my stim packs, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was some amount of damage. Crap, crap, crap. I'll tell you what. This hound. Be a problem! They're unstoppable. I'm still looking to see where that dog is. Where's that mutant dog? McCready kill it? Hold on, McCready. Wait. It's definitely not killed that like. What am I like on grabbing stuff? Find him, find him. Nice. Oh, knee copper. Pity it's on a switchblade. That is disappointing, to say the least. But McCready's good to go. Is he healing up? I need He's something. Up. Uh, loads of super mutant parts around here. No, actual armor parts. I know there is physically parts because, you know, I did most of that. Honestly, I thought they'd be a wee bit more of a challenge. And I do often wonder why this is not a settlement. It's combat armor. Nice. Mm, that one's. Or is this? Is Breakheart Banks a settlement? I don't see a workshop anywhere. Ho oh. oh, ho! Well stocked fridge! Why is it not let me? What? Okay. I'm just gonna shrug my shoulder at that one. Why was this not a settlement? It's like a nice wee farm and all. Good setup. Definitely should have been a settlement. That's crazy that it's not. Anyway, I think I've went through this place with a fine tooth comb. Yeah, let's just go to the wee outer bits where they were patrolling. I'll take the tin cans. Some lovers on a car. Any items about you? Nope. It's actually a really neat spot. And again, a radio tower. It's kind of broken. I think they had more planned for this place. It just it doesn't make much sense. Like you must have had to repair this at some point. We console on the side, maybe boost the signal of something like it. Why was this place so lightly, you know, given anything? Did I take everything under there? Got some spare ammo if you want. <gasps> Where are you? Hey. Need something? Hi. Take this. You're gonna need it. 38 round, nice.
Tell you what, see when we get strong, he is going to be kitted at the amount of super mutant armor I have found along my travels here. What's that? What's oh, a trap? Don't know what triggers it, but meh. Okay. Green top nursery should be a little safer now too, because of our efforts. And there's probably still Mr. Gutsy. Unless he blew up. And that truck looks like it's about to blow up, so I'll just encourage it to blow up a little sooner. Nothing on here. Oh no, it's already blown up. Ah, right, okay. Whoop. Well, Mr. Gutsy's dead. I take it McCready and the combination of the block flies killed it. Yeah, two black ones. A normal one. It's amazing that that would overwhelm a Mr. Gutsy. Eh, it is what it is. Let's head back to the slog. Give them the good news. You won't want to miss the next episode where we go over to Lynn Woods and we activate the alarm. <laughs> oh, veterans will know exactly where that's going to go. The slog now be in a good settlement. I, I think this unlocks it for me, so I'll chat the wise oh, you're man. still alive. That either means you haven't gone after those super mutants yet, or good news. Those super mutants? Won't be bothering you again. I guess you were the right person for the job, huh? Thanks, friend. By the way, we've decided to support the Minutemen. We've got to help each other if we want things to get better. Awesome! Woohoo! Can we do anything with Just him? wanted to trade a few things. Go ahead. Oh, that's just the way trading with him. Well, the sun has come out on a bright new day, and we've now got a massive ghoul farm with complete with tar berries. Seems Which, to be growing well. If we had a good supply of clean water, things would be pretty good. Yeah, these should respawn after a few in-game days. Plus, I think the water is pretty okay to drink. Ha! <laughs> no. No, it's not. You know what? I'm actually going to work a wee bit on the slog here. Uh, just in the downtime. So next episode, I'll show you my progress and what I get up to. I'm going to have to connect them up to a settlement nearby. Green top might be the solution. Because I'll connect outpost Simonja down to green top and green top to the slog. So I'll need to... Oh. Right, so 10 pines. I need to connect at the outpost Simonja. And then these two. Right, there's a lot of settlements. A lot of connecting up needs done. Uh, I have some more suits to my knowledge, so I'll have to go to Skylands, do another raid on it. And, uh, we'll, yeah, we'll get this place looking ship shape. Thank you all so much for joining me in this fine episode. Have a great day, evening, wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one.